Hi, I'm here today to preview the beta builds for my four Curio display cases. Uh, I'm dedicating this design to my grandfather who made me one of these uh, back when I was an eight-year-old boy. I'm uh, releasing the CAD files necessary to make these Curio displays for free on my website at timeportalgames.com. These plans will allow you to manufacture identical display cabinets to these using 8th uh, inch birch plywood and uh, you'll also need a, access to a laser engraver uh, with a work area of at least 12 by 20 inches. The file formats will be available both in Illustrator and in AutoCAD Exchange format and uh, those are both pretty common. One of them uh, you should be able to make work for you, whatever your setup is. These display cases can be hung on the wall or they can be stacked on top of each other. Uh, the protruding nodes that support the slotted plexi will also provide a buffer so that the covers will not scratch when stacked. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. Uh, this is what the cases look like when they're disassembled. Uh, I've accounted for material loss on the female slots of the primary uh, mounting plate and the side rails, which means you won't need any uh, glue or adhesive to put these together. Uh, you will need a rubber mallet or a hammer uh, with a wood block so that you can pop these together without damaging the wood. I'll go ahead and pop a rail in real quick so you can see how, how tight it is. I'm gonna pop this together on the floor real quick. The table's too long. All right, there you go. You can see that's a nice, that's in there pretty tight. I could go in a little bit more. You can see that's going nowhere. And uh, all your rails are gonna fit like that throughout this whole thing. So it's easy to see why you won't need glue uh, and why these things aren't gonna fall apart without adhesive. Um, let's see. I'll talk about these uh, side rails real quick. Uh, this, this side rail design is just a clip art design I put in there for a placeholder uh, and I'll put it out there with the plans, but you can go ahead and make your own designs and I encourage you to do so. Uh, you can also not do any design at all and uh, save yourself a whole lot of time because uh, these will end up taking about at least half an hour to engrave that image on all your side rails. So if you don't use that, uh, it might be better for you. Uh, let's see here. In terms of painting these, uh, I just did a spray acrylic clear coat. Uh, I think stain usually looks awful in all cases. Uh, I would advise against doing any kind of brushing because of uh, all these little slots. When you brush it on there, it's going to goop up in there, it's going to pool, and it's going to run, and you're just not going to be able to control it. So make sure you use a spray tan. All right, so that's everything. Uh, that's all the cases. I'll zoom back here so we can take one last look at them. Uh, if you're interested in these and don't have a laser cutter, I'm sure at some point I'll probably do some limited runs on these and offer them for sale. Uh, and you can always feel free to contact me uh, for custom work. Uh, but in either case, you can expect the price will match my lack of enthusiasm for watching a laser cutter run. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks a lot for stopping by and uh, I hope these, uh, these plans help you out. Bye-bye.